Welcome to mission 18 of my squadron campaign. Target today is the AGO Flugzeugwerk, situated in Oschgeschleben. Apologies if I've totally mispronounced those words. This site is a high priority target and it's involved in the assembly of the FW-190 fighter planes. Here's the flight plan for today's mission. We'll head out of Ridgewell to the southeast crossing into France at Dunkirk, passing by Lille to our first waypoint, and then all the way over to our second waypoint, which is just kind of west-southwest of Frankfurt. You can see the front line has moved massively. There's a pocket of German resistance to the north-northwest of Frankfurt, but the front line is now all the way up to the town of Erfurt, which is not a million miles away from Berlin race to Berlin is definitely on. Once we've reached Erfurt, we're heading up towards our target at Oschersleben. And when the bomb drop is done, it's a tight anti-clockwise turn away from target and then out west and back to base. Here's the recon of the primary target. A lot of buildings quite close together, which is ideal should be able to take out most of these buildings with a south to north bomb run. We're all set to go. Here's the summary of the mission. It's the 11th of April, 1945. So just a couple more missions to go probably on this campaign till the end of the war in Europe. Taking four thousand pound bombs and four 500 pound bombs. It's just over 1200 miles round trip. Join the mission at 10 15 hours. We're up at 26,800 feet. We're approaching the front line. Chow Hound is leading the squadron today. Here's our position on the map. We're inside the Luftwaffe patrol zone. Just gone past the towns of Bad Hersteld and Fulda. Heading towards our decision point here, just west of Erfurt. We've got bandits inbound. Our escorts have gone to engage them. They've turned onto our six. Let's try and wreck them. Managed to take one out at least. This guy's coming back in off the nose now. He's leaking fuel. Let's see if we can finish him off. It's a friendly going through there. Let's follow that 109 that's leaking fuel. He's got an escort fighter attacking him, but he's missing all of his shots. Not a single bullet has connected. Back to the gunnery school for that pilot, I think. We've now made it to our decision point. We're about to cross over into enemy territory head up towards Oschersleben. Our initial point is set at 16,500 feet. Let's get the weather report. Weather at primary target is believed to be stormy, 1,000 feet, 8,000 feet. Not great weather, but we'll drop the initial point down to 10,000 feet and stay on course for the primary target. A second flight of bandits is inbound and they're close.
two have just collided there, that's great news. One of the planes has sustained damage, this is the Guardian Angel. Engine number four is smoking, we'll try the fire extinguisher on it. Sometimes it's just a simple engine fire that we can put out, but not this time, it's still smoking. Hopefully it will keep running until we can get back to base and fix it up. We've got a third flight of bandits inbound. Don't think we have any escort fighters left in the area. We've almost reached the initial point to start the bomb run. There are a lot of bandits still buzzing around us. going to increase the bomb release time interval. I'm only carrying eight bombs in each plane, so I'm going to spread them out a little bit over the target. Looks like we have about plus two degrees of drift. The bombardier has the offset at minus two, so that's perfect. I'll leave it at that. Here's our view of the target. Visibility is good. Positioning the crosshair right in the centre of the target. Flak seems to have stopped, and the bomb sight is holding well over the target. Just drifting upwards a little bit, I'll correct for that. Everything's looking good right now, the bombs are away in 3, 2, 1. Let's see how we did. It's a great bomb drop, I'm really happy with that. Completely destroyed the target. Job well done. It's 10.53 hours, time to egress. Somebody's in trouble, go and patch him up. The Chow Hound seems to be in pretty good condition, hasn't picked up much flak damage. Probably just those uh, bandits got a few lucky shots there on some of the crew members. The Mother and Country though has lost an engine, but otherwise is okay, no fuel leaks. The Guardian Angel has taken a fair bit of flak damage around the tail and also on the wings. 
the engine number four there is still smoking from earlier in the mission. But thankfully no fuel leaks. We've turned away from Oscar Schleben now. Got a couple of flak fields up ahead that we're going to navigate between. Pilot navigator, okay, turn coming up. And then we head back into friendly territory to our waypoint south of Munster before we RTB. It's 13.34 hours and the squadron has made it back to base. Let's land and get the debrief on this mission. Orbit and wait for landing clearance. A relatively straightforward mission, just a lot of bandits to deal with. 11th of April 1945, we attacked the primary target. 1225 miles flown and our squadron shot down seven of those bandits that's really good totally destroyed the target quite a few crew injuries sustained but a lot of these are light wounds a couple of severe wounds though here on the second page the bomb damage assessment looks really good and we were virtually dead center with our bomb drop on the target site couple of purple hearts for injured crew and a bronze star here for Staff Sergeant Thody. Let's take a look at the bomber information file and find out what he did on this mission. He was flying in the Chow Hound. The Chow Hound has done 11 missions now. it has got 14 enemy aircraft kills to its name. He was the tail gunner on the mission we just did. shot down three planes a 190 and two 109s well done him that's the mission complete thanks for watching see you next time